Hello, my name is Eric. I'm excited to tell you about an opportunity to participate in a workshop on the subject of creating digital models of audio circuits. Specifically, we're going to look at component level modeling, where we start out with a schematic and look at all the different circuit elements of that schematic and how we can create a digital algorithm of it that can run on our computer and ultimately as a plugin inside of our digital audio workstation. I'm going to take you through the whole process from start to finish, starting out with relatively simple circuits and building up to ones more complex by the end of the workshop. The goal is to get to the point to be able to model two different sections of the Ibanez Tube Screamer pedal. So a very famous pedal. Uh, the first day is going to focus on building up towards the tone section, which is a linear uh, circuit of the uh, pedal. And then day two is going to focus on the clipping section of the pedal. Obviously, it's a distortion pedal. So we need to look at nonlinear, you know, analog circuits and how we can uh, model those as well. So the workshop, two days long, it's going to occur on February 6th and February 7th, 2021. Uh, for those that want to participate on an interactive live stream to be able to ask questions and follow along and all that kind of stuff. The entire workshop will also be uh, video recorded and available after the fact for anyone that participates during the event or also just finds out about it after the fact. Uh, so um, the timing of the workshop is hopefully going to allow for as many people as possible to participate. It's going to uh, be streamed starting at 1 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on uh, Saturday and Sunday and go until 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So hopefully, whether you're over in Europe or North America or South America, wherever it is, uh, they'll give you an opportunity to participate or, you know, at least you'll be able to follow along after the fact. So what I'm going to do next is uh, switch over and show you some things about what we're going to be doing on that uh, event and also some of the things that you can prepare ahead of time to know what we're going to be getting into. So the goal here is to build up to the point of being able to analyze this Tube Screamer guitar pedal and also implement it. Now, if you don't have any experience whatsoever with uh, working with circuits, that's okay. We're going to primarily focus on that as part of the workshop, starting from square one and building up to the point of being able to uh, understand things like voltages and currents and resistance and capacitance and op amps and diodes and circuit elements and then circuit analysis techniques like uh, looking at the transfer function and the Laplace transform and the bilinear transform and then modified nodal analysis and state space analysis, all building us to the point of being able to use this technique called the discrete Kirchhoff, DK method of uh, circuit analysis. It's very popular in industry for uh, one of the different ways of doing um, uh, circuit modeling. And it's a generalizable approach. You know, we're going to be applying it to the tube screamer, which is a good example, but uh, the goal is to have this whole process and uh, methodology that you can take after the workshop and apply it to just about any other kind of uh, circuit that you'd want. And there's a bunch of other ones you could maybe uh, take a look at on here as well that would be uh, feasible to be able to implement after the workshop too. So for us, we're going to start out with the circuit. And we're going to be focusing on just these two different sections, the main ones, the tone section and the clipping amplifier, the main ones that uh, give the tube screamer its sound not really focusing on the other things like bypass and uh, input and output sections. And we're going to take those schematics and we'll go through a process where we analyze them mathematically. We turn them into equations. And that might look something like this. So the goal of this is to have some equations that describe the interconnected relationships between these different components as part of the circuit. Once we get those equations, we'll be able to then take them over to MATLAB and uh, prototype um, how this thing is going to behave. Now, if you've never programmed in MATLAB before, that's okay. Um, if you do have experience with something like Python, that would be another one that I think would work well during the workshop, especially if you have experience with it. Um, so we're not going to start from square one in terms of programming. Uh, so hopefully you'll have some uh, background on doing some of that, but I'm happy to help uh, people get up to speed on that too. We'll give you some resources ahead of time to uh, get you started. So the goal is to be able to, on day one, look at the tone section and be able to uh, experiment with it to the point of, you know, testing out different uh, settings for the potentiometer, the knob that controls the tone. And the nice thing about having this ElectroSmash website is they use uh, some SPICE simulator. It's a simulator that just runs on your computer that can do the circuit uh, types of uh, modeling. Um, the nice thing is they've got it broken out by the different sections and we can confirm that our MATLAB code 
as parameterized can you know behave in a very similar way to what they have with spice. So the tone section has this boost that happens around 1K or 2K. This is a linear scale. And uh, then it rolls off as you turn the tone knob down or turn it up. Um, so we'll be able to see and confirm that that's how it's working inside of MATLAB. So that will bring us to the end of day one. And then day two, we're going to switch gears and look at the clipping section. So clipping section brings about some new techniques that we need to discuss when it comes to analog modeling. And that's because it's nonlinear uh, circuit elements. So we'll get into this uh, technique called the newton raphson method uh, for uh, iteratively solving nonlinear equations. And because we have these diodes in here, that's what's really what's going to control the drive or the saturation of the circuit. So again, we'll go through a process to come up with the equations for this uh, circuit and get to the point where we have this really cool type of saturation, warping, distortion uh, stuff that uh, happens to a uh, signal going through it. And we can confirm that our MATLAB code does very similar kinds of things and even try out different settings on that. So our red over here is our output. And right, this is type of distortion that you cannot get with just your run-of-the-mill, um, regular old digital distortion. You can only really achieve something like this by having some uh, cool analog modeling. So once we have things working in either MATLAB or Python or whatever testing programming language you want to use, then our goal is by the end of the workshop, maybe the last hour or so, we're going to try and port this over to C++ and get it working inside of a Juice plugin. So uh, just to speed up that process, I'm going to have some of the stuff prepared ahead of time, like the graphics and things, for a plugin that we can uh, open in C++ and Juice and then put in our algorithm in there to be able to control the different uh, things like the drive, the tone, and the output. And then by the end of the workshop, we should all have this uh, functioning uh, AU plugin that uh, has our circuit algorithms built in and uh, working, including uh, you know bypassing it and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that uh, gets you excited about some stuff to uh, learn about and see as part of the workshop. I really hope you'll choose to join me as part of it. Again, those people that choose to join as uh, members um, on my Patreon page will be able to uh, access and participate in the interactive live stream, or if you find about, about this after the fact, all the workshop will be uh, recorded and accessible for those uh, members that join there as well. So really looking forward to it, and I uh, hope to see you there. Take care.